I'm making a call. But you don't have a phone. I have my voice. You still need the phone. Want to use the voice activation? You need its names and numbers. There is one name programmed into every phone, particularly into one belonging to a middle-aged man that was wearing a wedding band. Home. Hello? Hello. This is Patrick Jane from the California Bureau of Investigation. I was wondering if you knew a man six feet tall, mid-40s, salt and pepper hair, gray custom-made suit weighing about 192, give or take. That's my husband, Gordon Hodge. Gordon Hodge. You said you're from CBI. Is, is something wrong? Uh, just a sec. It's for you. Hello. Beautiful, huh? No, not really. I failed to see the charm. It's the glamour of mobility. That's why the girls went for Kane and not Abel. Is that right? Yeah. Nomads. Sexier than farmers. They have romance. You can buy logo merchandise. Sinner Saints coffee mugs, decals, beach towels. Whoa. Some various other interesting little knickknacks. Nice. Yeah. Well, if they do it, we should do it. A range of casual wear, maybe? Sensible shoes? I'll get right on that. Lisbon loafers. No, she didn't do it. She loved him. She was a prisoner of her husband's life. She gets rid of him, gets a fresh start. People trapped in miserable lives always talk about escaping. Few actually do it. It's easier just to close your eyes and pretend the misery doesn't exist. And what were you people doing out here anyway? Oh, we think you killed uh, Gordon Hodge, so Agent Cho and Rigsby and watching you. Oh, come on. She was never going to buy. We just happened to be in the neighborhood. I told you I had nothing to do with that. And who told you that you could go in my house? Oh, this? I just needed some tea and cut through the chill. Chill my ass. You were looking for evidence. You should take it easy. Don't tell me to take it easy when this guy's rifling through my underwear drawer looking for a weapon. It was your closet, actually. I was looking for blood-splattered shoes. Get off my property. You're very touchy. Go. I made it happen. By making an innocent woman think she was going to go to prison? As if her life wasn't hard enough already. Yes, you're right. She does deserve some justice. It's good to see you care. You know, sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. <laughs>